Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Backyard YouTube channel. Today, we're going to discuss something that most Australian homeowners struggle with, weeds. If you do have a problem with weeds in your lawn or garden, it's important to identify your weeds properly so that you can treat them effectively. In this video, we're going to provide a brief description of the common types of weeds found in Australia and some tips on how to treat each of them. First up is a weed that most people with a lawn would be familiar with, bindi or saliva sicilis. Bindi is a broadleaf weed that commonly grows in lawns all around Australia. After flowering, this weed produces a seed capsule that has spurs. This is prickly and quite painful to walk on, making walking barefoot on a lawn that has bindi almost impossible. The best way to get rid of bindi from your lawn is to use a broadleaf herbicide especially in autumn and winter. Next up is dandelion or terexacum. Dandelion is an opportunistic plant that will especially grow in poor soil and bare patches of ground. It has deeply notched leaves and produces a bright buttercup yellow flower. Its fluffy seed heads are easily dispersed by wind. Because dandelions produce a very long taproot, they can be difficult to remove by hand. Therefore, the most effective way to control them is to use a broadleaf herbicide. Spurge is an aggressive weed that forms a dense mat over the ground or in parts of your lawn. It has long stems or runners with opposite leaves that have dark spots on them. This weed is particularly common in hot and dry regions and thrives in compacted soil. It seeds prolifically and has a long taproot. Although this weed can be removed by hand, if any part of the taproot remains in the soil, it will come back. Therefore, a broadleaf herbicide is recommended. Oxalis is another common weed that is difficult to eradicate completely. It has yellow flowers and clover-like leaves, and it multiplies through underground rhizomes and bulbs. Mostly, you'll find this weed growing in garden beds, but it will also grow in your lawn. The most effective way to eliminate oxalis from your garden is to use a pre-emergent herbicide as pulling it out by hand will not get rid of it completely. Purslane or portulaca are succulents that can form a very dense mat over the soil. They have brown or pink runners that can spread quickly with tiny bright green leaves that grow along these runners. Once they start to grow, these weeds seed prolifically and will easily spread around your lawn and garden. Although it's quite easy to pull these weeds by hand, you have to be careful not to allow the seeds to drop back into the soil. The most effective way to get rid of these weeds is to use a spot treatment with a non-selective herbicide, such as Roundup. Nutgrass is another weed that is quite difficult to control. It has narrow, grass-like, glossy leaves, and it also produces triangular stems with tight seed heads that can be reddish-brown in colour. The most effective way to control nutgrass is to dig it out by hand or use a herbicide specifically designed for it. Onion weed is a grassy weed with long, strappy leaves that smell like onions when crushed. In spring, it produces white flowers on tall stems. The best way to control onion weed is through spot treating with a non-selective herbicide. Next up is asthma weed. This is a low-growing weed with roundish, hairy leaves that grow on short branches and are sticky to the touch. The small green flowers of asthma weed are filled with pollen, which can cause hay fever and trigger asthma attacks. Spot treatment with a glyphosate-based herbicide works well on these weeds, especially when applied before the weed flowers. Cape weed is a flat weed that is common in lawns. It produces a rosette of heavily serrated leaves and a bright yellow flower with a dark centre on short stems. Cape weed can easily be controlled by using a weeding tool to dig it out. If your lawn is heavily infested with this weed, a broadleaf herbicide can be used to control it, or you can spot treat it with a glyphosate-based product. Paspalum is a grass weed with a fairly broad leaf, and it can easily blend in with the rest of your lawn, but it tends to stand out when it produces its easily identifiable seed heads. If you only notice a small infestation of paspalum in your lawn, you can easily remove it by hand. Just use a sharp knife or weeding tool and cut it or dig it out. If you have a more sizeable infestation, you might need to use a herbicide to get rid of it. Clover is a common broadleaf weed that can appear in various locations around your lawn. While it can be a nuisance, clover also has many benefits, 
so you may want to think about whether you should remove it at all. Clover helps maintain soil moisture, suppresses other weeds and attracts beneficial insects like bees. If you do want to control clover, it thrives in low nitrogen environments, so increasing nitrogen levels is usually the first thing to focus on. You can do this using a lawn fertilizer that is high in nitrogen. Pooch grass is one of the most stubborn weeds that can invade your garden. It has a fine leaf blade that is soft to the touch and can spread rapidly through its underground runners. The best way to control cooch grass is to cover it completely with landscape fabric or a thick layer of cardboard or newspaper to stop sunlight. You can also use a glyphosate based product such as Roundup herbicide. Burmedic is another common lawn weed that causes lawn prickles. It has serrated green leaves that grow together in groups of three with small, yellow, pea-sized flowers. Burmedic is easily controlled by regular mowing, which removes the flowers and seed heads or stops them from forming. You can also pull it out by hand before the flowers and seed heads form. If the infestation is out of control, you may want to try a broadleaf herbicide. Milk thistle is an annual plant that grows up to 1.5 meters tall with leaves in rosettes, as well as along the stems. It is a common invasive species whose seeds can be transported by water, wind and other means. Milk thistle can be controlled with manual weeding, especially if you remove the plant before it flowers. For larger infestations, use a herbicide like Lontrell in winter. And finally, we have flatweed or cat's ear. This plant forms a flat rosette of green leaves around a central taproot with tall stems topped by small yellow flowers. Flatweed is easy to remove by hand, but the entire plant must be removed to prevent its return. You can also use a selective herbicide designed to eliminate them before they flower, or a non-selective herbicide like glyphosate. And that's it for today. We hope you found this video informative and useful. Do let us know if you have any other weed problems in the comments below, and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to our channel for more guides for Australian gardeners. See you next time.